Scrapbooking.com Magazine presents the following Basic Techniques article from the May 2012 issue. Square One, Flower Garden Part One, Seeds, by author and artist Judy Kaufman. Spring gardens are in full bloom and summer's flowers are getting ready to put on a show. I've planned for petunias and marshaled the marigolds, so I thought it would be fun to plant some seeds for paper gardens too. The flowers that bloom in my studio are as varied as the ones beyond my door. This installment of Square One is devoted to the tools and supplies I use to create them, or the seeds. Next month, we'll start to pick those blossoms and use them in projects. First up, punches. Flower punches abound. For dimension, manipulate the petals by bending and curving them. Layer punched pieces for multi-petal blossoms. Punch ovals, diamonds, or other shapes and create your own fantasy flowers. Use border punches and lightweight paper to make rolled style flowers. Pleating and quilling. Create rosettes from accordion folded paper or lightweight cardstock. Make simple or intricate quilled flowers from lightweight paper strips. Stamps. Where do I begin? Flowers, individual petals, tiny peg stamp sets with which to stamp entire mini gardens. There are endless possibilities. This category will be the focus of a square one soon. Printed papers. Many scrapbook papers are filled with flowers that can be fussy cut, layered, and or altered. Die cut. Dies turn flower making into a fast and easy activity. There are so many options that it makes my head spin. Some shapes are meant to be layered. Others are meant to be cut, then rolled and manipulated so petals curve. And many shapes not designed as flowers can be turned into petals, leaves, and blooms if you just use your imagination. Emboss. Embossing folders provide a variety of flowers, leaves, and floral backgrounds. Electronic cutting. Every electronic cutting system includes many flower shapes, and resizing is as easy as pie. Set aside a few hours to experiment and play. Stickers. Layered and dimensional, large or small, realistic or cartoon style, the sticker category can be a garden unto itself. Knitted and felted. Nora J. Bellows and I photographed some of her amazing knitted and felted flowers during our visit prior to the interview for her Meet the Artist profile in Scrapbooking.com's April 2012 issue. Thank you, Nora, for letting us feature them here. Finally, you can press the real thing. Dried flowers are fun to use on cards, layouts, and other projects. Pick press, and be patient. Careful gluing is required as dried botanicals are very fragile. There are many more categories and ideas not covered in this video that we'll be exploring in depth in upcoming issues. Please check out the online version of this article for the resource guide and list of supplies. It's just the tip of the iceberg, but a good place to start. To find the products featured in this article and shown in these projects, check with your local scrapbook retailer. Browse our premier retail stores for coupons to a store near you.